pretty heavy trail right here. See the leaves are freshly kicked up. Looks like they're using this pretty hard. Probably because they're getting chased all over the place. I got another scrape. Since I started scouting here at the beginning of the year for archery season, all the way up to now, I have not seen any sign of humans. And not one other hunter while I was up here this whole season. This is a perfect little pocket. And for some reason, everybody's avoiding it. The biggest reason they're avoiding it is because before you cross the creek, there's about an eighth of a mile stretch of trees that are fell over and it's real thick. You really have to try hard to find your way through it. So most people aren't going to try to get through that and then cross the creek. So they just avoid this whole, whole area. It's been a great spot for me this year. Lots of bucks. And I'm banking on coming back here next year. For now, just to be safe, I'm going to take my cameras out of here. I'll check those cards one last time. Maybe when I go get seated. I've had some pretty good memories up here in this spot this year, man. I'm ready to do it all over. So every time I come up here, there's a new sign, fresh rubs. Generally all in the same location. Just look at that. It's just hammered in here still. All right, there's my other camera. I didn't have them locked on the trees or anything. They're just strapped on there. That lock's actually fake. It's not even around the tree. And this will be the last time I'll be in here. Probably till January because I'm gonna come up here and do some scouting up top. Get in and find all those buck beds. Start preparing for next year's archery season. I'm glad that's not locked on the tree because I didn't bring my keys along. <laughs> you can definitely tell they've been up here all year because I'm pretty wet and grimy. And I almost didn't want to take him out of here. I kind of wanted to leave him up, but with as crazy as rifle season's been this year. If you look straight ahead, you can see that heavy rub line because the sun's beating off of him right now. It's a freaking insane up there. Got myself tucked in against a tree here on a log. Right in front of me is the creek. A little over a week ago, actually the first day of rifle season, I had three does come across the creek right here in one buck. Head up that direction. I was sitting up there about 125 yards and I got a shot at that buck and I missed. His kick marks are still over there. But with all the shots fired on top of the mountain, I figured this would be a good spot to sit because they're traveling back and forth down here in the bottom, crossing the creek, and I got some good open spots to shoot. I didn't bring my seat today for the top of my tree stand. I usually bring that along to sit on. So, 
I just emptied out my backpack. I'm sitting here on this log. I guess the big old pine. And I can see right across the creek. Through the open hardwoods there, right to the, the old choppings. Ron decided he was going to go up the other side of the mountain. Up that direction. He's sitting where I shot the buck a couple days ago. Because they're also using that corridor pretty heavily. That's the patch of woods in between the two clear cuts. Blaze couldn't come out today. He had to go do some PT testing uh, for his military. I'm pretty sure he would have liked to have been out here today with us. Kind of a weird day. I can't believe how the, the fog is still lifting. I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it real good rising up off the creek. We're in December and it's freaking 50 degrees. Can you believe it? Back when I was a kid, it was so cold out. Everything had time to freeze. You could actually go ice skating. Today, there's no way you could go ice skating. The weather's been too warm in the winters here in PA for quite a few years. That was a fun evening. Heard a bunch of shots go off. Had a couple guys come through putting on a drive. Thought for sure we were gonna see some deer moving. And they probably were moving, I just wasn't sitting in the right spot. Just about the uh, end of daylight, I'm heading back to the truck. Ron's probably still sitting up top. For those of you who harvested your deer this year in bow and rifle, congratulations. If you haven't, it's not over yet. You still have the second part of archery season coming in. And once things calm down, you know, deer are gonna start moving again. Those drivers come by you or no? No, I. it sounded like they were coming back this way. But they must have just came down and it, when they came up, it must have sounded like it was coming this way. It must have only been two or three of them then because there was nobody on the other side of the creek. I see one guy walk right down the road here. Literally right down the road. 